Hey guys, welcome back. Hello everyone. Um, everybody let me know. Welcome to the live chat. Welcome to our live unicorn spit demonstration for today. Um, thank you for um, all your comments on earlier's um, video that we did where we had um, done some stenciling that turned out really beautiful. Um, I love it and um, as we were playing around, I noticed that there was some really cool um, comments that came through and recommendations on what they would like to see next. And I took you guys' ideas and I think that the mixing the black unicorn spit with some of the gold um, concept colors that we have is going to be a really cool concept um, to really make it pop. Um, again, I'm still using the same stencil that I um, used earlier for the checkerboard, but I am going to put a little twist on it. So I'm going to have you guys follow along with me as we do some bleed free stenciling. It looks like I'm going to have to close this door. It is just opening and closing due to the wind. So let's get started real fast. I'm going to point you straight down here so you can see my workstation that we have. I'm working on my tabletop from my dream box by Create Room. I'm absolutely loving it. All right, so before we had done just a regular stencil on this, right? So I thought it would be really fun if we did what's called a reverse stencil. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. What I'm gonna do is take my other stencil that I had earlier and I'm gonna cut off where we would normally not want to go out of the lines. So I'm just gonna cut that right off of here. It should be a little bit, a little bit stuck right here. Make sure it all comes off nice and smooth. We wanna have a nice clean line. All right, we're gonna do that on this side as well. While you guys tune in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Give me some comments, some thumbs up, and make sure that you also subscribe. You can also turn on notifications so you can tell when I go live on YouTube here so that you guys can follow along with me in my little creations right on top. Okay, so we are cutting this checkerboard out 100%. I'm going to do what's called a reverse stencil. Now a reverse stencil is basically taking the stencil that you would normally you know, stay in the lines for and go outside the lines in order to make it um, just a little bit of a different spin. So I'm taking what I would normally use as a breaker or a blocker from me going outside the lines and I'm going to actually remove it. Make sure, you can see how durable this fabric is that comes with the Icon Art Maker. It's, it's not flimsy stuff. These reusable stencils that I make are super amazing. I love them. All right, guys, so here's our stencil now. Now, this is the same stencil that we used in the earlier demonstrations, and I'm going to be using it yet again. This board here has been stained. It's got a very holographic look. Um, it's been stained with the sparkling unicorn spit, and I have applied two coats of uh, an, a, an a aerosol clear coat. All right, all the aerosols are oil-based, so, you know, we're good. And if you're watching um, this video along with me, go ahead and share this video to your favorite areas, like the Unicorn Spit Q&A Facebook group, if you wouldn't mind, so everybody can follow along, or any of your other favorite um, areas that or social forums that you like to. Oh, let's make sure. All right, so we're about an inch, an inch. Oh, share that along with everyone you can. That way we get lots and lots of people watching with us. The more comments, the more people we have to talk to, the more fun I think it is. All right, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. Half an inch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take this stencil and we're gonna put it right down on, on the top here, all right? I'm just gonna get out as many 
little creases and things like that that we can out of the stencil so that it's nice and laid on there. All right, this is a screen stencil. I made it myself. What we're going to do, and I think this is gonna be really fun, I'm going to mix some of our, um, now this is unicorn spit that's been mixed with our pinch powder that turns it into chalk paste. We're gonna be mixing our black and our gold for this one, and we're gonna be doing a reverse stencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is take what I had made earlier, we're gonna stir it up so that it's no longer lumpy and we wanted to get it to a nice, smooth, chalk paste kind of uh, texture. So it'll turn, it'll be like um, whipped marshmallow is the consistency that you're looking for whenever making your DIY chalk paste with unicorn spit and stencil powder. I'm going to just use one of my little I don't know, what are these called? Silicone spreaders. Actually, I should use something that's bigger because I am gonna be doing a larger area and I want it to be nice and fluid. Give me a second here. I'm gonna look for mm, possibly a business card that works out pretty good a lot of times. Let's see here. Well, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just get the main area done. I'm gonna just take some gold and just kind of plop it down just here and there to get it randomly distributed. There we go. Remember, it doesn't take much. It goes a very long way. Just popping it right down on top of that. And then I don't want to mix my product, so I'm gonna scrape off anything I didn't use and put it in here. Then I'm gonna to get to my black. Now I am gonna use a little less black than the gold Oh, I don't know, maybe I'll use the same amount. We'll see, we'll see how it turns out. It should be pretty neat looking. I think it'll really pop against these jewel tones that we did. If you wanna see how we did this piece here, um, you can follow back on our lives that we've done over the past week. I've done all of these patterns live with you guys. So you can follow right along with me. All right. Here goes the nervous part for me at least. I always get nervous, even though I know it's gonna be fine. All right, so I got some black and I have some of the gold on my little doodad. I'm gonna come through and I'm just going to we're reverse stenciling. I know, don't freak out everyone, don't freak out. Just hear me out here, you're gonna love it. It's gonna look very rusticy. I'm hoping to get like almost a um, industrial effect with this. I think it's gonna work. But if not, now I've sealed this top. So if it's not industrial enough for me, I'm gonna be able to come back and do more. Now I'm gonna go over the existing where there's none. And I'm just gonna go over this whole thing now Ooh, I had a wrinkle in my stencil. I should have worked a little harder on that. I'm just gonna get this put on there. I'm gonna take all the additional. And we're gonna just buff it on there. This is gonna be like glazing the exterior with the mixture that we made. I want it to be very rustic looking and I think this is gonna give me just that. I think it's gonna be very Lisa Frankish when we're done. And I'm gonna leave those streak marks because I want them to be part of the concept. If we don't like them, we can smooth them later. So here we go. You ready? Oh, this is gonna be so crazy looking. All right. Let me find a corner that's easy for me to grab of the stencil. Oh my gosh, it's exactly what I wanted. Is that neat looking or what? Oh my gosh, that was such a great idea. I like that it's mixed with the gold a little bit in there. I think that looks really killer. 
I mean super duper killer. I am absolutely in love with this. Now I do see a couple of spaces where my um, spit went out of the stencil. So I'm just gonna come in with a little Q-tip. Doesn't matter, it's not dirty with earwax, okay? I had cleaned it with yellow, or cleaned up some yellow earlier. Oh my gosh, that's funny looking though, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to just clean up with just water anywhere that I have a little bleed, which happened because I did not put my stencil down perfectly which happens to a lot of people, especially when you get excited and you're arting. So we're just going to easily clean our mess like it never even happened. There's one over here. Now the reason it's cleaning up so easy is because this is on a sealed surface. Now if this surface was not sealed, it might be a little bit more difficult to get off. There we go. Guys, see any other spot I missed? Right here's like a where I ran my finger on it or something. There we go. I think this looks incredible. I think this looks really cool. It makes my everything it it's very Lisa Frank. It is very neat, it is very industrial. And I'm gonna go around my edges and do this one um, black. So here you go, guys. I'm gonna bring you in nice and close so you can see it. Now, of course, this is gonna have to dry. So we're gonna allow this to dry. Um which will just be a few minutes and then we're gonna add some more clear coat to it. Now it's making me wish that I would have done this side that way as well, but hey, you know, these are just going to show the different ways that you can use Unicorn Spit to get some really fantastic effects. And I have to say, this one is pretty fantastic. I absolutely love it. I think it looks really grungy, really vibrant, modern, an industrial, I don't know, I'm in love, I love it. And then of course I can use this stencil again and again and again. You can see how light and airy it is, it's wonderful. And you don't have to worry about cleaning it out super fast, um, you could let it dry all the way in it. If you chose, it will not damage your stencil. So, all right guys, well thank you for tuning in and until I see you guys again, be good, be blessed, and always let your creative juices flow. Goodbye.